G'day there mates, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today we will be turning to our shift in the Hard Space Shipbreaker. Now, we are still working on a, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty much a um, research vehicle. I don't really remember the um, Exolab, I think they call the vehicles. So we're just about, uh, I say about halfway done with that one. So let's dive in and uh, finish the rest of the job off, shall we? <sighs> Finally show stickers induce positive sen sensations without the use of chemicals or medications. Finance department very interested. <laughs> yeah, because they want to save a good buck. Like to wish you a happy and productive day. I'm sure. Let's just get started on our shift, shall we? All right, so about half, about almost halfway for this uh, lot. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the controls. Alright, now I remember. We were pretty much getting rid of the wires in here. And what's this doing here? I thought I shot that down there. I probably Dylan, but I don't really remember anything. Yeah. Well, at least I'm glad that I found out about um, using the <sighs> grapple here to actually <clears throat> pretty much help me get around faster instead of me just relying on the thrusters all the time. One of the many things they don't teach you in the game here. I guess it's just one of those things you have to figure out for yourself. Games definitely do have stuff like that around there, but it's always good to find out. Alright, the door is processed himself. So no need to yank that off there. Alright, let's see what else do we have inside. I actually think that's everything in here. Yeah. So let's fire this away. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's slow it down. Cut a... Oh yeah, I forgot to repair my... Well, does it do it for me automatically when I finish the day off? I think it does it automatically. It's too bad it doesn't do the same for my equipment. I tell you, the sooner I can get upgrades with my oxygen, the better. Well, that took us time to get in there. Oh yeah, still one more down here. Pussies off. Mm. 
Okay, come on. Alright. Let's get let's get these bars off and into the furnace. For you, all right. Next lot, they hit the wires themselves. When you actually get a hit on the stand of the game here, it is, can be pretty relaxing. But a bit stressful still because you have to be careful not to hit anything by mistake. And you. Yeah, be guys for careful and I slam it into my helmet again. Let's get back to work. There we go. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. Well, my brain was probably just too tired to process it. No pun intended. Easy there, buddy. Next light. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. For you, raw material process credits deposited. Is the whole one is that one whole unit? Yeah, all right. Let's cut these last two um, junctions. Well, last four, sorry, out of range. Yeah. 
and lost one. Another girl's on there, and another girl's on here. Alright, let's blast them in. You go here, and anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright then. Line you up here, and blast you in. <sighs> Alright, I don't think we'll be able to get the whole ship done in this shift. But we can try. So let's just do what we can. Okay, Weaver, let's do what we can. Alright, so let's get you off the front there. So I don't burn anything off. Ah, it's just pretty much that is still moving. All right, wrong one. Uh, what's the? Here we are. Okay, that's the bottom part done. Let's get the top here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get this cup first and then I'll go with some oxygen. Alright, let's head back. And slow! Very much, I think these two are still attached. Yeah. So let's cut from here. I think that's a good cut there at the top, so... Okay...
Uh, the top part is still attached. Man, I thought I cut that out of there. All right, let's go for another cut. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep. Let's finish strong. Trying to. There we go. I wish it was easier to let it remove the glass from the windows, but boy, we'll be in later on down the line. All right, you go in the processor. Now, the where's the rest of them? You get over here. Alright, we'll leave that one hit there. And that's another shift done. Nice. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. You have achieved the prestigious rank of novice, rank five. Let's see what else we can get. Also, see if we actually unlock a new ship to work on. Keep forgetting how to press X. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. All right, so I have to go match our living quarters. Hey, Rook. You ever think about starting your own business out there? Yeah. yeah. Be your own boss. I swear. One day, I'll get a decent belt runner and make my own money. Maybe bring my old man along to help sniff out the good rock. My dream is to tinker with ship design. Maybe build some machinery to help with heavy duty mining. Make it safer. If we ever both get out of here, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. <laughs> if you don't end up coming with me, I hope you get to make your own way out there. Definitely ping me if you do. Blue out. Thank you. Morning cutter 9346-52. Okay, hazard level four. With access to hazard level four, Slinx uh welcomes you into the ranks of our potential high earners. The extraction of reactors from ships is one of the most valuable duties of what our employees can perform. We expect the utmost care when engaging with the variety of reactor setups you will encounter. Retrieval of an intact reactor is your highest priority during every salvage operation. It is advised to clear a direct path to the barge for the safest distraction. Reactors will become unstable once removed from their protective housing and can cause severe damage to surrounding objects. Failure to extract a reactor safely is also a failure to comply with expected performance standards. Please ensure you talk to your supervisor if you consider your ability to safely extract the reactor a uh, risk factor. Banks. What the heck? An Atlas Scout. The new Atlas Scout. Solar winds at your back. Cosmic dust flying by the speed of a comet of a comet at your fingertips. Meet the Atlas Scout. Purpose engineered for getting away and back in a blink of an eye. Sporting a pair of Star Leaper property clock. Quasar thrusters, propriety quasar thrusters, the scout ensures you're able to cover a lot of ground quickly. Atlas, powerful, dependable, enduring, the foundation of a better world. Star Leap Harry Industries. I think it's time for you to learn about the mother load of any ship. 
the reactor. Most dangerous part of ship breaking. But you got this. Continue when you're ready, Cutter. Will do. Want to finish off my other ships first before I even start on there. Might as well place some stickers on there. <sighs> One sec, please. I will be right back. Sorry about that, folks. When was I? Uh, okay. Alright, range. What is a Dilly lens replacement plan for sti Stinger? New lenses are manufactured in Earth orbit and are guaranteed to arrive scratchless for your money back. So we get at least 10 meters in range for this. We got a lot of tokens, so I might as well spend. All right, I revisited circuit board layout between the mount and the power unit. Main power unit allows for a hefty increase in power, and in turn, a greater efficiency range for the field field medium. And this is for the grapple. And this is the tether mount amount. Adjust the operational cap of the Teva system for more simulated simulation Asus fields. That's gonna cost me at least how much thirty six? Uh, Selby's division R&D has squeezed out greater grapple efficiency, resulting in maintaining maximum grapple strength for slightly longer. That may be more useful for me. Thrusters, top speed, a large combustion chamber and narrow uh, exhaust port increases the amount of force produced by the thrusters. Oxygen? Yes, please. A larger oxygen tank is the simplest, easiest, and cheapest method for increasing the amount of air work for working. That bulk, however, can make inexperienced bay workers uncomfortable, even in zero-g. Can't afford anything else. I wish I had enough of this. Damn it. So I just bought everything in one go. Well, too late now. <sighs> Alright, let's get back out there. There's a training shift session. We'll get to that once we finish here. Because I'm not in the mood for another expensive training session. Especially when I've got money to be made. Thanks for the advice. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Uh, let's go by the front here. Get these seats out.
See if we can get this all done in one guy. I promise this, but I have to at least try. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. One sec, please, guys. I mean, ooh, that's a long one. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Ah, uh, we've got those storage bins left in there. What if there's anything else? Ooh. You go. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. And we've got the lights up here. Jesus, look at the start the timer again. God damn it. Hey, was there anything else in here? I know that's nothing. Alright, so we need to get the door off there. And this... Here, let's get these lights off as well. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Anything else here? Nope. Got you. It's got a lot of stuff to chuck down here. Oh, for bloody sex. Looks like one of the videos I uploaded had, came out with the wrong thumbnail again. I don't know. One sec, please, guys. Yeah, just, just leave it as it is. I've got about three views on my dad video. I know it's not many, but some is better than none. I just don't get why PlayStation, when it comes to uploading videos that have a percent of thumbnail form, why it acts up on me. It's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, 
probably should have done that before I left out. So, 70 plus 5 percent is pretty much the point where it starts to start beeping at me. Alright, we've got you in here. Could you cut? I think we did it last time. We cut it from the bottom and we weren't good. That was easy. Yeah, and the fuel's low too. Valuable object process. Credit supporting. Ooh, jeez. That was close. Okay, so we're pretty much almost done here. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Uh, so we've just got the one route that we need to cut apart. At least I think so. Double check. Okay, processor, processor. Yep, one's the furnace and the other's the processor. Alright, let's get these cut out. Get this one off and it's all about the same thing, so I don't need to worry about that. And I cut you out as well. Separate uh, everything's just getting damaged. Did I separate it? Please tell me that I separated it. No, it did it. Budge.
Oh, Christ almighty. Thank you, you useless. Uh. Let's get a table lined up. I said it is about everything on there. I just hope I did not miss. Got about three minutes left, so let's do one more quick sweep. No. Oh, hello. Not see you there. Was that a panel on the outside? Yes, it is. Should have got all those off first. Okay, there's everything on the outside. Let's get a Tevo on there and straight into the furnace with you. About and that looks like that's everything. God damn it. Should have just stuck on the outside here. Yeah. Ah, it's moving slowly. And you go in this one. Oh jeez. Want me out? <sighs> that was a waste of it. Oh, come off it. That's one minute left, Cutter. You're in the middle of something. It's now on time to skedaddle. Yeah, you're almost done here. Come on, deposit, deposit. Was it? What? I did not see a. Oh my god. You worry more about the equipment instead of your employees. And it was 0.5% remaining. What is that extra? One door. I did not see that door. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last ten percent of a job takes as much energy as the first ninety percent, which is why it's so important to always give one hundred and ten percent. Mm-hmm. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get started on uh, training.
remember my first reactor pull. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> you got less on the line now, but still. Let's try to do this without a critical meltdown. Looks like this shifts reactors toward the aft, but there are lots of different configurations out in the wild. Okay, we're only focused on one thing right now. Pull the reactor and get it on the barge. As soon as you disconnect the reactor from this ship, it'll start to melt down. So act fast and make sure you have an exit strategy ahead of time. Yes, sir. Uh, as the fuel tank. Right. This one's pretty easy. Should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. Try to have your extraction fully planned out before disconnecting it from the ship. Alright, so my extra strategy is pretty much knocking the back out of here. What's this? Thruster ejection. Alright, let's get this cut. I forgot to repair my equipment. Ah oh, well. Steady. Yeah, sugar, I run for the rump. Your grip push. And yeah, let's push this out a fair, fair way before we start getting that reactor. Okay, I say that's a good, good enough. All right, just give it a good yank. Okay, line her up with the barge and. Whoa. Okay, so that was me mucking it all up. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. I had the right idea, but I think I need to move the back part here fully out of the way, so let's do just that. Okay, so once I get the um, fuel fuel tanks out of the uh, ship itself, I'll push it to the side so I can have a lot more room. Really heavy. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to move on its own. Let's just push it upwards. Okay, that was dumb.
Come on. Let's go with this. All right, go down here. Back a bit further so I don't bash it into me. Aim it down. And... Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to cut this bit out here because I'm running out of time. But as soon as I get back to rehab, I will start the video up again. So see you guys very, very shortly. Okay, I'm quickly back because this next party, I think I might want to show with you guys first. Find if you guys. So the thruster, we already did the, um, removed the, well, turned it at the, um, console inside the ship before we took the back part out. So, since we turned it, hopefully it should come out more easily. So that wasn't an easy extraction. So you gotta remember you have to interact with the console in there first before you Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Yeah, so inter interact with the console in here first before you decide to remove the um So to remove the thruster itself. Okay, I saw fit to do that first before I took it out of there. Yeah. Alright, so once again, once I head back to the hab, I'll uh, see you guys shortly. Hey Mitch, just uh, another quick update here. Apparently the doors that they were talking about are the ones that lead from the back here to the cabin. I completely missed these altogether. I decided to restart the thing to uh, see what's going on about what doors I was missing, and it turns out it was deep ones here. The console should be at the uh, entryway here, between here and between the cockpit and uh, the cargo bay. So yeah, that was pretty much what I was missing. And I guess I didn't look around like, like I was supposed to. Now, with that being said, you will have to cut them out of there. And since i got enough, I'm going to have to... Actually, no, I should be able to cut them here. Again, I have to start the uh, restart the um, process since I mu uh, my brother distracted me and mucked me up somewhere. So, uh, that's a grappler. With the cutter, make sure you go straight near the edge here. And that takes that one out. So you only need about one cut right near where, right near here. Don't have to worry about the bottom and top parts. So it's pretty much this part here you need to worry about. Make sure you get us cut it along the black line here. And I don't know why I did gave the animation that I was cutting backwards, but oh well. Anyway, those are the doors I was missing. 
Glad I was able to find that out. All right, I'll see you back on the um, on the what's it called again? The Hab. I don't know why I'm forgetting these names. All right, see you guys shortly. All right, folks, that's uh, that part of the deal. The uh, training one done. So I got about 53% of that done, which is not too bad. And a good amount of credit and the links token. <sighs> so I learned about a couple of things today, like what a flipping doors worth, finally, and how to remove a reactor. So I really have to be careful. Who's calling me now? Hello. Hi, Rook. So, this can be uh, an awkward subject, but mm -hmm. you've probably noticed Lynx doesn't take great care of us. Up until maybe a hundred years ago, workers like us would sometimes form these groups called unions and go toe to toe with the company. They'd argue for better wages, safer work, decent hours, that kind of thing. Lynx was actually part of getting rid of them, but some of us are trying to bring it back. I can tell you're a good person, and a hard worker. The company will use you up. It's just built that way. So I thought you might be interested in the union news group. There are new messages every couple days. Read them, don't read them, trash them, whatever. Just keep it on the down low. The others don't know about it. Weaver and Dee are a bit too by the book. Kaido is just too anxious. Poor kid. But I wanted you have the info. I was glad someone gave it to me when I was new. Okay. Spiel over. <laughs> See you in the yard, Rook. Blew out. Yeah, well, thank goodness for unions, too, because without them, people will just pretty much get screwed over. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Nominal? Is that good or bad? So I got a uh, sender undisclosed. Welcome. And uh, from, from another shipbreaker. Okay, let's have a read of these and then we'll call it an episode. Okay, Rook. Hey again, Rook. Just wanted to say I'm impressed of how quickly you're picking things up. I'm not sure what kind of work you've done before, but you're a natural, a natural cutter. You probably notice Lynx doesn't exactly take free care of us. I don't blame them. They don't really have a reason to. Up until a hundred years ago... It's just pretty much the same conversation from yesterday. Alright, so... For first members only, thank you for signing up to the Salvage Workers U Unite Newsletter. We are happy you're here. As our group grows, so does ability to affect positive change for all shipbreakers. As a reminder, the activities of this group are only for authorized members. Please respect the mission and the privacy of your fellow members and do not share outside the group. We wish to improve work conditions and ensure that the voices of shipbreakers are heard and respected. We intend to coordinate the, with the Sailor Commission to start negotiations with the company around policy changes. Okay. Here are key demands we tend to bring forward. Cancel the debt. The dangers the dangerous work of a shipbreaker should not come with a clip, crippling debt owed to the company that profits off that work. We demand the debt be cancelled immediately. Don't deny that. Workplace safety while shipbreaking is a dangerous task, there are unnecessary risks involved due to company policies or quotas. We demand improvements that would greatly decrease the risk of injury or death. Investigate contract clauses. We demand the shipbreaker contract be ordered by the Stellar Commission to ensure human rights are honored. In particular, the clauses around ownership of the next sequence of shipbreakers. Thank you again for joining us. So, solidarity is strength. 
and we are the path on the path to improve all our lives. Salvage workers unite. So yeah, there is a group out there like that. Thank goodness. All right, then, people, that's going to have to be it for today's episode. I'm just going to try and prove my equipment and going to call it from there. So anyway, that's going to have to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Show your support for the channel. I very much appreciate that. Now, with that being said, don't forget me to head off. So thank you all again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye, take care, and have a good time.